there are several components to how climate works, but all of them right now are indicating that there seems to be and is a recorded trend towards warming. It could mean several things depending upon what action humans take. And the trend towards the warming is something that geologically has been happening for 10,000 years. However, what scientists are concerned with is the fact that the warming, it's occurring at a faster rate than what it would naturally. So to explain the acceleration, we have to take a look at how have people influenced the environment over human history. Since the Industrial Revolution, the burning of fossil fuels, particularly coal, oil, and gas, has increased the amount of certain gases in the atmosphere, particularly carbon dioxide, methane, and a couple of other ones. All of these extra gases, which aren't usually in the atmosphere, they retain and in addition to retaining, they also are able to move heat energy from one place to another. Other regions of the world are not experiencing a pronounced warming. Some parts of the world are actually cooling. For example, parts of Asia, particularly parts of Russia, are not experiencing global warming. So they publish reports that seem to be contradictory to the global climate change community but they're actually complementary. If it warms up in one area, it can very easily cool down in another. Carpooling would reduce the amount of pollutants, things like carbon dioxide going in the atmosphere. So walking to class, maybe not driving around the campus, conservation of energy actually counts. Recycling is post-use. So the manufacturing process, which uses a lot of energy, you know, make less of it would help. It will help reduce waste, which is always good. And some things, whenever they do decay, well, they do turn into methane. That is a greenhouse gas.